Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. No, you don't. It's a new time, J3. October. <laughs> it's time for Halloween and Halloween-themed activities. Okay. What's that mean? <sighs> we dabbling into some scary stuff. Specifically, <laughs> reacting to ghost videos. Oh, my God. For those of you that don't man. know, I'm all into the horror stuff, but I'm also into, like, the supernatural and that type of stuff, too. <laughs> Been fascinated since I was a kid. So we finna step into that today. I, you know, I, I agree with you on that. I've been fascinated because Ghostbusters. Yeah. Are we going to get some Ghostbusters in this video? <laughs> Not in the sense you oh, might crap, think. man. All right. I'm about to go to church after this. Okay. Uh, where we at? Where we going with today? What are we reacting to? All right, to? man. We're reacting to one of Nuke's top five videos. For those that don't know, if you're into like actual real supernatural footage and stuff like that, he is the man on YouTube. Got oh, so much good footage. Let's jump right into it. Huh, well, Top let's go see what they gonna bring to the table. Ghosts and creepy Say things. that now. Uh, the road to nowhere. Paranormal investigators I don't from have YouTube chills, channel Paranormal but I, the hair does rise. Secluded you know I mean? a forest bit. road in the mountains of Germany. Sorry, the roadway is said up. to be haunted by the restless spirit of a young woman named Elizabeth, who tragically passed away in an accident on the road over 40 years ago. Locals refer to the ghost that haunts the roadway as, quote, the woman in black. The paranoiacs are driving down the lone forest road in hopes of capturing anything supernatural on camera. What happens next huh. is downright chilling. Oh. Yo. <laughs> So was there though, no doubt. Yeah, but like was the ghost is what was like, She got all this time to run into the forest. She ran back. Huh. Like, it could be coordinated. Now why would you go and go try to find it? You ain't got no proton packs, no 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 spiritual spears or nothing. Like you just no uh eye of protection yeah, what is this i'm i got a flash i know i'm good people nobody black fam. we would have just kept driving <laughs> i wouldn't even look that way uh, nope i would never take that road again either a strange woman dressed in all black can be seen standing at the side it's of the there. road but then right when that Paranoid path it disappeared right quickly yeah, back up their bush, car the but the woman has just it's disappeared cold outside. But why they get out of their car and search true but she's nowhere to be found three months later and the paranoiax team return to the same road and bring along friends <laughs> more so than you take <laughs> <set up laughs> a static camera hey we saw a ghost you want to wanna come but while they are away, their static camera captures something truly terrifying. Okay, I see something moving. I don't know what I'm looking at. He got to enhance. Okay, wait. Yeah, I do see something. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely some legs moving. after them they were never seen again <laughs> right no it's kind of creepy okay i don't that the can be done camera records a there translucent apparition walks yeah, across the road not... and disappears into thin air when the paranoiax team returns okay. they don't see anything or anyone around they don't even discover what they have captured until later when they review their footage so could this be the spirit of Elizabeth, the quote, woman in black, endlessly yeah, wandering and lost on the lone forest road? Let me know what you think. You can find more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. All right, Pete. I think that one's fake. Okay, is it possible that the first part is fake and the second part might be real? I think that whole scenario is fake because... Just as a just as a quick rundown, and we're gonna get back into it because I just gotta say this. It's like 
they would have saw her disappear. Word is bond, like the car move up and they just like, where did she go? Nah, nah. They would have been, oh, she disappeared. Like, it where'd she go? Like, well, Their reaction yeah, would have been yeah, like yeah. more into it. Because we couldn't see it because of the camera, which like you said, could have been done on purpose, but they would have seen her disappear. And their reaction would have been much different. Unless they, and they would have been like, oh, she walked behind the thing. Then they would have, they would have never pulled up. They would have just. I just feel like that show, uh, Factor uh, Beyond, what was it? Uh, uh, Beyond or Belief? Ripley's Beyond Belief. Is that what it R is? No, the, Ripley's yeah. Believe It or Not. No, no, no. And then there was another it, one it called. It was a show on Fox. Yeah, there was another one called. Uh, Factor, Factor Fiction. Fiction. Was it Factor Fiction? Something like that. Something, yeah. yeah. Fiction. All right. <laughs> and then look, when the, the second ghost video, they all conveniently was gone and was there. You know why? So that it would be easier for you to edit in that effect. Yeah. Even though the granulation was real good, that's hard to do in CG for all my other artists out there. But nah, I don't buy it. Yeah, that, that one's fake. That was fake. Continue. A sixth sense. Oh, oh, oh. In another strange video, Reddit user ACC6894 says that his brother's girlfriend has two German shepherds. A CCTV camera records the dogs who have been left home alone one night. They begin to act very strangely. And then this happens. Now I don't play with dogs. What the hell is that? Hey! Yo! The dogs seem disturbed by something in the corner of the room. Then suddenly a chest drawer comes flying out at them, startling the poor doggies. Reddit user ACC6894 has no now. idea what happened to the dogs and believes the CCTV might have recorded something paranormal. But what do you think happened here? Let me know. Bro. Okay, so if you was to fake that, you would have had to like rig some fishing wire to the drawer, but the dogs would have been looking at you pushing. Bro. There's no way that someone would torture their dog like that. Yeah. This is a person with two German Shepherds. Maybe a mutt. Nah. Two German Shepherds. I think that one was real. And it was caught on CCTV, which is a security camera. Um, another thing, too, like, yo, these are if this is a regular person, those are regular dogs. Like, that's hard to fake and train and play out. Both dogs at the same time drew their attention to the drawer. These big ass dogs, they have the size of the dresser. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. start whining and crying, like, what's going nah, on? Nah. I don't think no one would put their dog. Through that type of torture. What's crazy is he probably whipped their ass. They came on, y'all got all this shit everywhere. <laughs> like, They're but, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> trying, mm. trying, to, trying to point the ghost laughing in the corner. <laughs> like, ah, hate hey, y'all. Followed home. Oh, snap. Ghost Hunter Robert mm. from the Paranormal Investigation Take Team Para Evident claims that ever since they went to the allegedly haunted Montanay Hotel in Arkansas on an investigation, something seems to have followed him home. That's what I'll be worried about when I go home. He says his lights flicker, electronic devices turn on and off on their own, and creepiest of all, he's seen horrifying apparitions in his home. The entire para-evident team decide to investigate the haunting in Robert's home. During the investigation, Robert and team member Joshua set up an SLS camera and begin to ask questions through a spirit box phone app. What happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> Oh, I like him. He got the spectral camera. That's very hard to fake CG. Can you show yourself? Did you see it? A pale figure can be seen passing by the TV in Robert's Yo. bedroom. Strangely enough, the apparition can only be seen on the SLS camera. Josh and Robert have no idea what this bizarre figure could be. That's and they crazy. believe it just might be the dark entity that's haunting Robert's apartment. But what do you think? You can find more very spooky videos over on the YouTube channel. Curse this technology evident. nowadays. Evident, uh. spell with the three. All it, right. It's crazy that it only showed up in one camera, but in real time. And different cameras see in different spectrums and different sensitivity. That's inclined to me to believe that. I don't know if it was a ghost, but whatever that was moving was real. What'd you think? I needed more more footage, maybe, but but that's what made me think I it was didn't feel real. Nothing off that one, because I feel like if it was something faked, it would have been more extravagant. It was something small, you know, like a quick snip, like ah, uh -huh. yeah, like yeah. If it was that, there was really trying, it would have been like a full apparition, fact or, or fiction. Something. 
I'm gonna go with fact. Like I don't know if it was a ghost, but the stay spe- tuned after the, co- the results. Now <laughs> the spectral camera, like if you would have tried to fake it with like a CGI, the the light densities wouldn't match. That's a quick way to like debunk a ghost video, and I like that he had that on his setup. All right. House tour gone wrong. Okay. News top five viewer Paul sent in a video he recorded at his home in Glasgow, Scotland. Paul says that since his family moved into their new home. They've been hearing odd noises during the night and have had the strange feeling that they're just not alone. Paul has just always shrugged it off. But one day, Paul is recording a video of their new house to show his aunt, and things take a terrifying turn. Hi, Joe. Just thought I'd show you a quick tour of the house. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that cat? <laughs> it's all right. Stairs to upstairs, I'll show you that in a bit. Show you the bathroom first. So, sorry. This during the day. Yeah, he's showing a house. I, I like these type of videos. Got a shower there as well. Um, that's right. It's nice and clean. I quite like it. Man. Yeah, I'll show you the uh, the kitchen first. So you come in, living space, turn left, it's the kitchen. So they do have washing light. machines in the kitchen now. So it's, yes, we've got a whole bunch of it's quite a big old kitchen actually. Yes, so but look. So we haven't actually got two fridge freezers. This one broke down. Yo, how many fridges you got? He got bodies in his house. But other than that, yeah. Um, little garden out the back. We built the shed last summer. Uh, that's right. But this, I, I like this place. I've got that breakfast bar and the oven and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. All right, so living space. Uh, little front of ours. That's supposed to be a little driveway. We should have a drop. Where does curve, ghost have it? Um, oh, spoke too soon. Evie, she's been jumping up on the surfaces quite a bit. Not something I've got spooked in. Oh man, okay. you some sort of laugh, aren't you? Can you see that? That happened way too fast for even someone to have done that. Unless he's a master editor. I thought that Paul was hears the sudden sound of a broom falling in his kitchen. And when he goes to check it out, all the cabinet doors have suddenly opened. I don't believe it. Paul can't believe what yeah, he has witnessed editing. and just stops you, okay, recording. Okay, let's say the ghost opened In his everything. email, Paul explains on, that on, he was on. pretty spooked by the experience. And, well, who wouldn't be? So what would you do if this were to happen to you? Let me know down in the comments. Before we move on to... Yo, alright, so... Peep, if... That was to be legit, right? Right. The cat was the main. Right. You would have heard the cat scatter. You would have heard something, a reaction from that cat. Yep. When they when they get scared, they hit walls. Doo doo doo. Nothing. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Fiction. And and <laughs> even if it was a ghost, homie, like like it's still gonna make noise when the cabinets and drawers open. Absolutely. I, I didn't. I didn't. I wouldn't buy in that one. Yeah, I don't either. Uh oh. Here we go. Nary friend. TikTok user Genevieve Swafford claims that four years ago she recorded a video when she suddenly heard her young daughter Loralee talking to someone. Nope, got her daughter Even though away. they were the only ones at home no good. at the time. <laughs> years go by, and eventually Genevieve goes back through her old videos and is shocked when she discovers that she might have actually captured what her young daughter was talking to. Loralee, come here. All right. Right. Oh, oh no. With? No, and it's on TikTok. That, that so you couldn't have edited it unless it's a person. See, it looks like a shadow walks That's right it, I'm out of here. <laughs> Genevieve asks her daughter. What's, who she's what's old boy with, name from the Adams family? Uh, no cousin, 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 it. cousin It. So could that's it be that it, homie? Genevieve's house is haunted and her daughter could see the spirit? Maybe even talk to it? Okay, so I like when they switch to hot black. TikTok hoax. So you decide. It's not especially. Nah, just run that back. Run that back. Hold on. This next strange. Come here. Hold on. Loyalty, who are you playing with? What are you doing? Her mom Genevieve doesn't seem to see, but it looks like a shadow walks right behind little Loralee. Genevieve asks her daughter who she's playing with, but the girl has no answer. So could it be that Genevieve's house is haunted and her daughter could see the spirit? Maybe even talk to it? 
Or could this video just be an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. All right, so let me say this. I'm not buying it. Okay. The reason why the little girl, yeah. her reaction, unless she's a mute. But what if she's been playing with... Uh, she would have had a response of non-guilty. Like, oh, it's just cousin it. Like, yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's like, yo, like, this kid is sitting there. I don't believe it. Because even on camera, for her to just say, who are you playing with? On some random tip? Well, I don't think it was a special effect, but it's like another little girl with a blanket over or something like that. Yeah, it and, was, it and was, the blanket had color. It was a little blue to that. Okay. I ain't buying that. I'm a, and why is a little girl in a dark room? Yeah, uh, none of that makes sense. In this case, I'm going to have to go with fiction as well. Yeah, yeah. Fiction. Fiction. Trash out my face. <laughs> Creepy crawler. Trying to scare me. It this did give me the This video was like emailed the first to me time. by Mohammed Al-Badri from the city of Aden in Yemen. Mohammed claims that his friend was driving home when he spotted something absolutely terrifying. The man allegedly pulled out his phone and started to record. Okay. I saw a red Oh, fuck fake. that. <laughs> fake. Fake. That shit got me, dog. A horrifying pale creature with six legs it ain't even got a shadow. out from behind Oh, no, it do got a shadow, but the shadow Mom's not hitting the ground right. Wow. And nice try. Just gets if that's a scare, money. <laughs> now, I'm in no way saying that this is real. But it's definitely very creepy. It did give me though. It got me. It, it got. It got me right. Well oh, what is and that? The, the spectral so camera is, is too. Is too. Uh, the is lighting is off. Just an elaborate hoax. hoax. It's a nice jump scare though. It, it got me. I ain't gonna lie. It didn't give me like oh, 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 oh help me. Just the pick one. Nah. It didn't give me like that. But it. it I, I felt then, it. I felt it right look, here. The shadow is cast too high. It will be a. Uh, it will be a little lower. You decide. Picture. That was that was a good one. Off the grid. <laughs> I like that one. YouTuber Kevin Lake and his wife Dearly from the YouTube channel Homesteading Off the Grid have made their home on a remote patch of land in central Virginia. After moving to their new secluded they country home, fake. they began to notice strange know, things in the uh, woods around them. Videos. One day Kevin's neighbor is taking a walk through the woods near their property line and he starts to notice movement in the forest. He takes out his phone and begins to record oh my God. and he soon spots something Truly bizarre. A moose. What? Why your camera ain't good today? Huh? Zoom in, nigga. Damn. That bark look clean. Oh wait, there we go. What are we looking at? Wait, is that a head? It was stopping down by the lake to get some water. Wait, what is that? I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm taking the sacrifice. It's a person. Hey! I'm taking the <laughs> sacrifice, bro. I'll take this. Let's get this son of a gun. What are we looking at? It's gone now. It went behind the tree. Oh. Oh, that's like a veiled figure. Gandalf, bro? What is that? I think it's somebody in a ghillie suit. A hunter or something. Feeling, refilling his canteen. I don't think it's nothing spooky. He still ain't zoomed in. He looking that way though. You see him now. He's like, oh shit, I'm being watched. He blends in with the trees and huh. stuff. Someone or something appears to be skulking around in the woods near a cave. Look at how clean the bark is, the though. Man. Curious viewers of Kevin's channel believe it could be anything from a hiding squatter, a hunter, a backpacker. I think it's a hunter. And then there are some viewer explanations that are a bit more out there, like claims that this is a skinwalker or a sasquatcher or even an entity wearing an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Harry <laughs> Potter. Either way, Gandalf, Kevin and his bro. neighbor have no idea who Speak or whatever this center. is and why it would be on their property. Nah. Back to... Alright. 
I just think that was just he just taking something too far. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of weirdos that like go to the forest and hunt, and these dudes is weird. So it might have been a legit dude walking around in his ghillie suit, thinking he's solid snake. I yeah. don't, I don't think that was. I think that was like legit somebody in a ghillie suit. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, fact, but not scary. yeah, but yeah, not yeah. not supernatural. That was somebody there, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. He just wasn't dead. Church. Back to the a church. while ago, I featured paranormal investigators David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. I thought that was uh, the two friends Bronson. have been investigating the oh, oh, ghost church in Chester, South Carolina, that is over cook 200 after this. years old. <laughs> Long ago, in the early 1900s, it's believed that the church was the site of dark ritualistic ceremonies. No, man. Well David done. and Dell hadn't gone back to the church for a long time until one day they happened to drive through the city of Chester and recorded something bizarre that they still can't explain. It's a, dude, it's a candle. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, I didn't see it. After oh. the terrifying experience, okay. David and Dell decided to go back to the church it. for one more late night investigation. Not long after entering the creepy building, the two friends witnessed something truly chilling. Let me just grab the cam. Hello? Oh, Somebody could have kicked that. Where? See, I went to the before. No. We see something back again. It's creepy though. I give you that. Their reaction is genuine. I would have said it was the fake if he across the walked floor over there in the dark. In the and corner, the guys to see decided what to take a break like, outside to gather their courage. The biggest struggle was getting dark. their investigation. Eventually, they head back inside and sit down on the church pews. They begin to ask questions of the entity that may be haunting the building, and something seems to answer. So we know you're here, and we're respectful of you. Just talk to us. There's something that you want to tell us, I guess, right? If you don't understand me, I want you to knock once for yes and twice for no. This is Do you cool. understand me? I know you heard that. Oh, yeah. I said three been, knocks. Man. That could have been anybody knocking, though. Okay. So, why are you here? As David and Dell record, a dark shadow like mass seems to walk past the doorway right in front of them. Now, the two guys didn't even notice the figure until they reviewed their footage later. But since the investigation, the two friends have decided not to return to the church for a while. Just let you guys know that we might slow down on going to the church as often. Things have been going on in our personal lives since we've been going back there more. Me and David are starting to have experiences in our own houses. And it's really annoying when you can't get good sleep at home because you'll be waking up in the middle of the night to bangs. You're thinking, oh, somebody's breaking into my house. Nobody's there, nothing's in there, nobody's awake, startles everyone. Hopefully just kind of straying away from the church a little bit might help because it really only started to heat up once we started to go there. So did David and Dell capture real paranormal activity on camera at the church? Let me know what you think. Yeah. You can watch more footage and investigations at the Haunted Church right, over on their this. YouTube channel, Signs and Signals. Nice. All right. What you got? What you got? What I you don't, got? Uh, you know, the chair thing, like you said, it could have been somebody over there kicking it, but who there, which one of your homies is waiting in the dark for you to get the shot in the haunted church? Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? And it's like, you could fake that with strings, but like, it just seemed to be two of them. And the reaction was genuine when it first happened. He was, all right, I'm out of here. Like, yeah. he didn't go, oh, oh my God, the chair moved. He left. That's very realistic for him. And they've been here a few times. They seem like avid ghost hunters. So he wasn't too freaked out. But once he saw the chair, he, I got some, I'm ready to go. Then another thing, um, it didn't have to be a ghost. That could have legit been like a homeless person or somebody in there. Like that's 
even more scary because they own all types of drugs. Yeah, and they got knives. Yeah, no, for real. And bottles. Yeah. Then what, <laughs> what inclines me to believe that their experiences are genuine is when he said, hey, we're going to stop going because things have been happening at our home. And they're not filming it. Yeah. It's just they're just talking about it. It's happening. We're not doing it no more. I feel that it's not real because this is a functioning church. Hmm. No, it's abandoned. For it to be abandoned, it sure look clean. Huh. Like, it had a flag and everything. Usually, when, when things are abandoned, people breaking the stuff to steal the stuff to resell it. You're right. That was a functioning church, bro. I'm just saying, to me personally, I, I, I ain't... Fiction! Let's get the rest of this. I'm gonna be 50-50. A walk it was creepy, though. In the woods. One very early morning before daybreak, Nick Foster takes his cute little dog, Poppy, into the woods near his home and records a video of Poppy chasing squirrels through the dark forest. Oh, man. Later, when Nick looks back at his video, he notices something that gives him the creeps. Please. stops recording someone or something can be seen in the woods right in front of him what? nick says he was completely alone and no one else would have been there in the hours when he recorded this footage nick says he's very skeptical of the paranormal no nope. but he does believe that he might have captured an apparition so could this strange pale figure be a ghost or just someone randomly out for a stroll through the dark woods and strangely all dressed in off. white I think that might be Let me know what you think. Bro, come on. This way. Keep it a buck. Fiction. First thing, the dog. Yeah. Not on a leash. Two things a dog would have did. Especially a little dog like that. Ran. Either ran up to it. Or barked. Barked or booked it. Yeah. It that dog did nothing. Yeah, it kind of, it moved like, oh, since you've seen something strange, we're like, no, the dog see the UPS man and yeah. take gonna, flight. They, they see a squirrel. They see something different. They run straight up to it. Dogs don't have the idea of this is scary. I mean, I, they do, but just like. No, 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 no. No, real talk. Like, that little dog would have ran up to that and barked. Or ran away, like you said. Or booked it the opposite way. Yeah. That, out man. of fear. And, and for dogs to react, it had to be something powerful. What I loved when he did, when he switched to the hot white, the hot black cam. Uh, you can tell the light spectrums. You notice how everything was either solid black or solid white, and that kind of had some shades of gray on it, but the things behind it still had solid white. That's letting me know that it's not from the same light source. Mm -hmm. That means it was probably inserted. Yeah, th that that dog saw nothing. Yeah. Yeah, the dog would have... It would have did something. It would have alert. He went out there, waited for it to get a nice enough effect, and then in the video, I don't know if he didn't see it or not, and just caught it, but he didn't focus on it. Like, uh, how? what a coincidence. Yeah, nah. Fiction. Fiction. The Secret Shadow. Paranormal researcher Chriselle Luna sets out to investigate one. an abandoned house, now turned into a warehouse, in Michoacan, Mexico. Okay. The house was left abandoned after the owner, an elderly woman who lived there her whole life, passed away a few years ago. Uh -oh. The old building is now used as a warehouse to store grains, and many local workers claim to have seen the terrifying apparition of a woman aimlessly wandering the property. One night, Chriselle and her friend Melissa investigate the warehouse, but besides some odd noises, they don't really experience or capture much of anything. However, when Chriselle posts her video to YouTube, many of her viewers spot something in her video footage that she didn't even notice. Something very creepy. <sighs> Ahí dentro para que ustedes puedan ver, pero sí me gustaría. Oh. How does she not notice eh, that? Pues me gustaría pedir la presencia. Es algo que he estado haciendo últimamente. Pedir la presencia de este ser, de los seres que ya no están en este mundo, que ya están en el más allá mm. y que de alguna forma estoy escuchando ruidos allá adentro, Meli. Estoy escuchando ruidos ahí. A ver si logramos ver algo. Escucho ruido, escucho ruido. ¿Quién anda ahí? 
No sé si aquí tengan un gato, un perro, si están escuchando ruidos extraños. Playing pool back there? Huh. Escuchen. ¿Quién anda aquí? Did you see it? Griselle has just started her investigation when an unexplained dark figure can be seen walking inside the abandoned home. Neither Griselle or her friend see the creepy apparition, but they can both hear strange noises coming from inside. But when they go in and inspect the room, there's just no one there. So did Griselle capture the old woman that is said to haunt the property? I guess we'll never know. You can watch more spooky investigations mm. over on the YouTube so you channel, white, the white. Luna. So Luna. That's not an effect. Thanks for watching. But all right, before I, a, well, I'm gonna say this. I don't believe it's real. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't believe it's a ghost. I yeah, something's there. Yeah, no yeah, doubt. That's what I was saying. Yeah, she wore makeup. I know it sounds weird. She got dolled up to do this video, man. Please. Huh. What ghost hunter get dolled up to do a ghost video? You right. She had it set up. Um, <laughs> Fiction. <laughs> I'm going to say it could have, not necessarily like, you know, she could just be very vain. She want to look pretty on camera. Um, it could have been a vagrant. When they came in the house, she turned. There was like these stack of bags. Like, I think they were full of rice. That's if you a broke, broke, poor person in Mexico, and you got a few bucks that you didn't beg, you're going to buy some rice. Or if you're poor, you're going to take this money and act like a ghost. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to go in here and just lurk around. Fiction. Fiction, Fiction. 100%. Fiction. Hey, but it was study, something bro. there, but it wasn't a ghost. <laughs> Top five scary video ghosts and creepy things, man. I'm not buying it. But some stuff was a little chilly. It was a little creepy. The word creepy works for this. Yeah, okay. It was some creepy stuff. Okay. They got to do better than that. Like the uh, the one with the German Shepherds. Yeah, that, that was the only one I think was actually yeah, real. Yeah, I, I would be inclined to agree with you yeah. in this video. The dogs reacted. They barked. They moved. They did something. Everything was making sense. Like, the, oh, like you can't train that. Like, unless you're like a Hollywood movie person. Like, Yeah, and that dog is point. just like on some Beethoven, you know, some Lassie training. Yeah. You know what I mean? Both of them, huh? Yeah, both of them at the same time. What, what treats you giving them? Meatballs? What's up? And if you was going to put that much work into it, why not have a better camera at a better angle? Most deaf. It was just somebody been stealing my change. I'm going to catch him slipping. It was yeah. right at the dresser. The dogs went over there like, hmm. Nah, I, I, that's the only one I think was real. Yeah. Uh, this was fun, though. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go to push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And also take a look at Nuke's Top 5 channel yes he got hundreds of videos on there if you into the stuff that like i'm into the stuff you'll love it man and we're gonna come back for some more man because this is october and they got a lot of stuff to do man you know what i'm saying uh i'm j3 and it's your boy sable rocks and uh 100 000 subscribers <laughs>